In this video, you're going to learn how to tell whether a function is even, odd, or neither. So we're going to go through six examples. We'll do three together and go over them, and then I'll have three that you can practice on your own if you'd like to get some practice, and we'll go through those as well. So let's dive in. First of all, what does that even mean, like even or odd, right? So an even function, what that means is that it's a reflection over the y-axis. So if you take the graph and you fold it right over the y-axis, it'll match with itself. And I just kind of demonstrated here with the function y equals x squared. Now that's graphically. Now algebraically, the way that we can test to see if it's even or odd is what we do is we put negative x into our function. So wherever you see x, you're going to replace it with negative x. Make sure to put it in parentheses. And then when you simplify, if you get that original function back, that tells you that it's an even function. So for example, just taking like a number of, say for example, if I put 2 in, 2 squared is 4. If I put in negative 2, negative 2 squared is also 4. So you can see when I put that opposite x value in, I'm getting the same y value, right? So that tells us that it's even. Now, what is an odd function? Well, graphically, an odd function is a 180 degree rotation about the origin. It's like if you were to hold your finger right here at the origin, turn it a half turn, the graph would match perfectly to itself. And the way that we uh, test for an odd function is we put negative x into our function in place of x in parentheses again. And if we get that original function back, but it's multiplied by negative 1, that tells us that it's an odd function. So say, for example, like this graph here, this is like y equals x cubed. If I put, let's say, 2 in, 2 cubed is 8. If I put negative 2 in, I get negative 8. See how I get the same y value? but it's the opposite sign, that tells us that it's a odd function. Now, if it doesn't satisfy either of those requirements, then it's what we call neither or neither, however you say that. And uh, let's dive into some examples. So this first example, number one, let's go ahead and do our algebraic test. Now, you can check your work on a graphing calculator if you want and, you know, see, uh, you know, it's kind of analyze it. That's kind of a backup method. But let's do the algebra method. So wherever you see x, on the right side, you're going to replace that with a negative x. So negative x to the fourth power. Put negative x in here to the second power. And remember your order of operation, your PEMDAS. You want to start with the parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, lastly, addition, subtraction. But notice when you have a negative to an even power, that's going to give us a positive x to the fourth. A negative x squared, that's a positive x squared times negative 4 is negative 4x squared, and then 1 is just 1. So when I look at this result here, I say, oh, this is the same as my original function. So what does that tell me? It tells me that this is going to be even, or a reflection over the y-axis. Okay, let's look at example number 2. Now, example number 2, same idea. Wherever you see x, you're going to replace it with negative x. So you can write it like this. f of negative x equals the quantity negative x to the fifth power minus 7 times negative x. Remember our order of operations. So parentheses, exponents, negative x five times would give us a negative x to the fifth. And a negative x times a negative 7 is a positive 7x. And let's take it one step further. If we factor out a negative 1 here, you can see this comes out to positive x to the fifth, negative 7x. And look what we have here. We have the original function, see, x to the fifth minus 7x, but it's multiplied by negative 1. So that tells us that it's an odd function. So let's go ahead and write odd. This is going to be a rotation 180 degrees about the origin. And for example number three, let's go ahead and do this one. So here we're going to replace x with negative x again. So negative x to the fourth power, negative x to the third power. Okay, our order of operations. So negative x to an even power, that's going to give us a positive x to the fourth. A negative x cubed is a negative x cubed times this negative in front gives us a positive x cubed. And then minus 2 is just minus 2. Now when I look at this, is it the same as the original function? No. If I factor out a negative 1, let's go ahead and do that. That would be negative x to the fourth, negative x cubed, positive 2. Is this the original function? No. So it's not odd. So this one is neither or neither, however you prefer to say that. And those are the 
algebraic test. So let's go through three more examples. See if you can pause the video and test yourself and we'll do three more together. Okay, f of x equals x to the four fifths power. So what did you get for that one? Well, remember our test, we're gonna replace x with negative x. Okay, to the four fifths power. And this is a rational exponent or what we call a fractional exponent. And we can write this as a radical. What this would be, it would be a negative x, that's the fifth root, and then this is all raised to the fourth power. So remember the denominator is our index or our root and our numerator is our exponent or our power. And when you take the fifth root of negative x, you can write this as uh, the fifth root of negative one times the fifth root of x. And the fifth root of negative one, what number times itself five times is negative one? That's just gonna be negative one. So that's negative one times the fifth root of x all to the fourth power. Now, when you have a negative quantity four times, like a negative times a negative times a negative times a negative, that's gonna give us a positive. So this is gonna end up being the fifth root of x to the fourth power, or you could write this as x to the four fifths. And you can see that matches our original function here, which tells us that this is an even function. So let's write even on that one. Okay, so for number five, what did you get on this one? Is it even or odd? Well, let's go ahead and do our test. So we're gonna replace x with negative x. So negative x, I usually put everything in, I put the x in parentheses, so you treat it like a group. And then here you can see we have a negative x squared. So negative x times a negative x is a positive x squared times two gives us 2x squared plus one. In the numerator, we just have a negative x. And then what we can do here is we can say, does that match the original function? Well, it doesn't, so we know it's not even. But can we factor out a negative one? Now, when I factor out a negative one, that's like factoring out a negative one over one, right? Because negative one divided by one is negative one. So I'm basically factoring out a negative out of the numerator here. So that's gonna make this x. I'm factoring a one out of the denominator, which when you factor out a one, it doesn't change it. So you can see that when I'm factoring out this negative one, I'm getting the original function back, right? But it's multiplied by negative one. So that tells us that this is an odd function or a rotation about the origin if you graph it. Okay, and then number six, what did you get for this one? F of x equals x to the fifth minus two. Well, let's go ahead and do that same test. Let's replace x with negative x. A negative, an odd number of times, so a negative times a negative times a negative times a negative times a negative, that would be negative x to the fifth minus two. Now, does this match the original function? No, so it's not even. If we factor out a negative one, does this match the original function? No, okay, so it's not odd, so this one would be neither. Now, sometimes students will say, Mario, how come it's not odd? I see this is to an odd power. Uh, or like, uh, say for example, um, you know, you'd see all their, maybe they have even and odd powers. So I guess my point is, just because you have an odd exponent here, doesn't mean that it's gonna be odd. Now, if we didn't have the minus two here, it would actually be odd, okay? If we were to graph this just to kind of visualize here, this would actually look something like, uh, like this. It's been shifted down two. It would look something like that. Now, if you rotate this 180 degrees, it's not gonna to match to itself. It would if you ro rotate about this point zero, negative two, but not about the origin. So don't be confused. You wanna make sure you do these actual tests here to verify whether it's even or odd or graphing on a graphing calculator. So great job if you were able to get those uh, practice problems. Follow me over to that video that I did previously talking about even and odd functions if you want some more practice and I'll see you over in that video.